Health officials say the Delta variant has, quote, pretty much taken over in the United States. In the past week, America has seen on average 26,000 new infections each day, a 70% increase from the previous week. The Biden administration blaming misinformation and vaccine hesitancy. Scenes Americans had hoped were in the past. Hospitals, this one in Mississippi, once again overwhelmed by COVID patients. Mississippi's rate of vaccine uptake is not what we want it to be. All 50 states reporting a rise in cases, those with low vaccination rates the hardest hit. The Delta variant is spreading fast, fuelled, the Biden administration claims, by misinformation about the vaccines. What's your message to platforms like Facebook? They're killing people. I mean, they really, they're, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. Facebook hit back, claiming the White House is looking for scapegoats for missing their vaccine goals. So we probably would still have smallpox and we probably would still have polio in this country if we had the kind of false information that's being spread now. With just under 49% of Americans fully vaccinated, the number of people getting jabbed has stalled and restrictions are returning. After just a few weeks of what felt like freedom, tonight Los Angeles is reinstating an indoor mask mandate for all residents, regardless of whether or not they've been vaccinated. With America's COVID carefree summer now in doubt, the government teamed up its most trusted medical voice with one of the nation's most influential pop stars. I got my first dose of the Fauci ouchie. <laughs> in the United States, Amelia Adams, Nine News.